I can't turn it. I'm not doing anything. I could leave. Somebody, this is what happened. Somebody drove by and saw him, yelled at him, and he put it all over social media. I'll leave. It's okay. You seem like you're going to cry. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Nobody's doing a bomb threat, man. Wake up. It's a 13 year old at home trying to scare you. Don't cry. I don't want the food, by the way, and I'm not paying for it. It just came out. No, no, no. Fuck this restaurant. I don't know why you're laughing. You guys are kicking me out. Quiet. Like you said, once you put it out there, it's like firing a gun. Once that bullet leaves that barrel, you ain't coming back. Can I be honest with you? You want to? I know I can go to school. I don't know. If this ends, I don't know. Am I have to my mental health? To you who? Mental? My brother literally texted me today about something completely different. To shame me on what I'm doing in the life I'm living. And in his text he said, you're killing mama as well. Before this even happens. We're at a restaurant now and ask how they're going to find us. Also, the police came here. What did they want? They said, well, they came and they talked to me and they talked to our men. They said, like, they caught a call that they were going to shoot. Shooting? We got to leave. Let's go back to the no, hotel immediately. You, we're, we're too high this. Let's uh, go back to the hotel uh, immediately. Right, the I'm sorry. Me. We're leaving. Right. Tell your manager I'm sorry. Keep doing your thing. Thank you, brother. No, my thing is done. I'm ending my shit. Yeah. Okay. It's not worth it. It's the devil's, it's the devil's playground. God doesn't live in this area. I'm trying to make you a friend to friend. Yeah, normally I would hit myself. And in the beginning of the summer run, they saw me hit myself many times. But then somebody messaged me and woke me up and said, don't promote, what's it called when you, um... Self-harm. Self-harm. Don't promote self-harm to your children. True. That's true. I have a lot of, good like, mental Good for you for getting that message. Because obviously you influence people. Obviously. Literally, it's in your job title. So that's a very, that was wise counsel. Glad I got to meet you today, so... You as well. If I didn't have you, this would have been a nightmare. I would have hit myself. I would have got in a fight with somebody. I would have ran probably in the middle of the street. This is the devil. This ain't God. God doesn't put you through bullshit like this. Not even as a test. God's tests don't come through the form of the devil. I'd rather pray and then leave my house and get in a car accident and ends my life versus not praying and going outside and having the best day ever. Guide me, Allah. Please protect me. Just show me what you want me to do, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, if you want me to stop, I'll stop right now, Ya Allah. Just please give me a sign. Ya Allah, please just tell me what to do, Ya Allah. I'm done with you. Ya Allah, I can't do without them. I don't know what to do, Ya Allah. What to do, Ya Allah, and it's your guidance. Let's start our session by finding a quiet place to sit where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably with a straight back and close your eyes. Do you know how I've been doing the subathon? The, the, the subathon, the live stream? Uh, they call it a subathon. S S U B A T H O N. So, so obviously, I'm living my life on camera twenty four seven. So, if I wasn't authentic or anything, I would be exposed immediately because my life is on camera twenty four seven. Um, so that means whenever something happens, negative, positive, if my brother calls me to condemn me, if I lose my dick deal, 
it happens in real time and the whole world watches and judges me for it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of ten tension and pressure and like they see a lot of different versions of me and a lot of my different personalities come out. I've been trying my goddamn best, Susie, for 60 days. I just got to Arizona last night uh, for this little screener. Our energy together was amazing and we were going to have the best trip. I woke up in the morning, this morning, and she was sick, so she said she couldn't hang out, right? Um, so I hit up another friend who lives here, and as the friend was on their way, another friend calls me and goes, Hey, just to let you know that friend's been talking shit about you. So I said, screw it, I'll go outside. And then every time I looked at my chat or my Discord, it was nothing but you're a narcissist, you're negative, you're toxic, go kill yourself, we hate you, you shouldn't be here, go get a real job, fuck you. So I said, all right, I'm not reading chat or Discord today. And then I go to a restaurant to eat and I'm with the security. And then the server, the manager comes up to me and says, somebody called in a bomb threat. That's exactly what they did to me in 2018 when I was on top of the car and I lost all my money. Somebody did it again and she was on the brink of tears. So I said something aggressive. I told them to go fuck themselves. I was rude. I was mad and I left. <clears throat> and I go to another restaurant. While I'm at the other restaurant, somebody sends pizza to the restaurant. They call the police and say that there was a shooting at the restaurant. And everything that was bringing me so much joy and positivity and that was helping my mental health is now the reason that like, you know, it's now tearing me down, man. I don't know what to do right now. There are, but you know, like you never get to see the people who support because the people who are negative, they're much louder, they're much more persistent. And for whatever reason, the subconscious always catches there. And I swear to you, Susie, I open up my Twitter, I open up my Discord up. Nobody does this. No streamer in the world sits all day talking to his people on Discord. Never. I pull it up just to make a connection with them. And every time I do it, I swear to you, every time, the first thing I see, like yesterday, I'm at the airport having a good time. The second I open my Discord, somebody replies to a picture of Muffin, my dog, and says, I can't wait till she dies. The first question, 100%, because even at 33 now, when I'm trying to live my own life and do my own thing, I got a text from my family today saying they might disown me um, because of the shit that I've been doing.
I know, but to, to, to answer your to answer your first question, yeah. of course it makes me sensitive because even now at 33, when I've rebuilt my life, I literally was suicidal this year. My parents were there with me. Yeah. Even when I think I'm doing my best and trying my best, I get a I get the text that I got from my family that I sent you. So I don't even feel accepted by my own family. entire family knows me but when I was rich and famous they all loved me when I went broke nobody talked about me and then when I became rich and famous again my dad told me everybody's been calling him to say congratulations I know. You know what I always said in therapy for years? I said I was Jake Paul and Logan Paul before they were, but they handled the fame and the hate correctly. I didn't. What order? No, I did not. No, thank you. Right. Susie, they're ordering food to my hotel room now. Who is? The fans. The fans? Yeah.